chance to live happily ever after. Have you ever had a pocket pie? Now, we're not talking about the processed ones that come out of a deep freezer. Nope, the real thing. Hot from the oven and handmade with fresh ingredients. Tonight, video journalist Steve Betchko goes on the job in the bustling kitchen of a one-of-a-kind bakery on Eau Claire's north side. Took us right there. Hi, I'm Sue from Sue's Deluxe Bake Shop, and we're going to be making pasties today, which is a meat pie that has hamburger, potato, celery, onion, and gravy in it. These are rutabagas. R U T A B A G A. Rutabaga. Rutabaga. You know what? We make these, but we've never had to spell them. <laughs> I started working for my father in 1980. Bought it in '87, and been doing it ever since. You yep. mix it all up in a bowl and then the next day we can use it and then I roll them out and then we put the piece of the pasty right in the middle of the piece of pot. This is egg and water mixed together and that will seal the dough up so when it bakes it doesn't come apart. And then I take a can and go like this. The UP is famous for their pasties. And there is your pasties. The miners would take them down in the mines and that's what they eat for lunch. And people that have tried my pasties say they're even better than the UP. The correct term is pasties. Some people get it confused with pasties and that would not be these. <laughs> Been doing these for a long time. When I worked for my father, he decided to get into this, which is many, many years ago. We've made up to 100 a week. Most people know that you need to order or you're not gonna get one. You have to dock them like this so the steam will come out. So I just take my bench scraper, put a couple little slits in it, just like that. They're ready for the oven. The rutabaga sells much better than the plain. I used to just make the plain and then I thought we'd get into something a little bit different so I added the rutabaga and that just took off. This is our pasties so now we will let them cool and then we start boxing them up and put them up for our organ just like that. I do not know of anybody else that makes pasties. We've got a, a few items here that you can only get at Sue's. That's cinnamon bread. Mm -hmm. Best in town. These are a French puff pastry. They're called the French Crispy. We're the only ones that make them in town. And this, this is a custard angel food and I am the only one in Eau Claire also that makes a custard angel food. Everything I've learned, I've learned from my father. I never went to school or anything like that. He was my teacher. You know, just the tradition behind this place is amazing. I do want to pass it on to somebody that loves this type of work. But you have to love a job like this, because it's a lot of work, not a lot of pay. How are you doing, Susie? Yeah. Let's go over here, because I got some out there already. We probably got enough out there. So. 